so in this video now we going to continue our last part where we able to find that number of string present in a given string but now as you remember that i ask if number of possible combination of that testing in a given string how we can find it out so in this video we'll try to see that how we can see all possible combination count so for this one i will go ahead and open jupyter notebook and then there we will try to do it so here i will try to import regex that called re okay so for regex if you are not aware i have created already one video you can go and see that in my playlist nnp playlist i have created that uh, more videos for that regex so now suppose if i pass in a string x i will pass a b c d c d c okay so this is that uh, string that i right now suppose i created a b c d and c d c okay <clears throat> and now so we have that string now as per last time if we try to do that count of uh, c d c it's so what we can do we can do just simply s dot count count of c d c okay so we got one but right now if you can see c d c this one is one and again if we go with this c d c so two we need that count but here we are getting only one because first this try to find it here count and after that it's a start searching from here because once it include that character it's not going to again take that combination in count so this one was not working so now in regex what it's going to do it will just find for us all those things so what we can try to do now we can try to put that okay suppose i will declare that result as r okay or i can put that result as one variable and in this one i will put that length of re we already imported dot find all okay find all is one function and inside this what i'm going to pass that you can see it here i am passing in single bracket question mark equal to cdc okay that any combination of this cdc where i need to find i need to find in s okay so this one will go and find that and give to us that is that present or not so if i can go ahead right now i will remove i will show you in two step and now if you can go ahead and see that find all missing one re one required parameter a string okay so now what i am missing that here okay ah okay so here i am missing this i put that in wrong way so i need to correct it out okay so now this is correct so let's run so now you can see directly if i can run it i got it too and we can store in one result and then also we can print it out okay but if i go ahead and remove that length i will go in place of finding that length we can go and try to do that okay we will get that find all missing one required a string so now again okay last time i did that mistake i repeat it okay so now you can see we are getting two only blank of this one so again i will tell you how we can get that here report that you can do it that i already explained in my other videos so in this way now if i can go and store this one if i can go ahead and put that in result and this i need to remove from here put it and then if i go and print that result what's that my bad print of values okay so we got it too and we can use this variable and then we can use that other operation if you wanted based on this one so in this way we can find it out by using that uh, importing regex and then we can find it out 
other way what we can do we can just go ahead and we can do in this way i already created one function so i can explain you okay so now what just to save your time this one again i am passing that same thing substring this one we need to search what i am taking length of this and this and then i am do doing that loop on that and again i am doing here plus one again it's a starting inner loop i am using that if you are not aware of inner loop you can go and see my uh, python basic videos where i explain that inner loop so first it's j to length of one so length of one is a string so it will repeat for this one okay and then second one it will go and repeat for inside j equals to zero to that and then it will be re return us that value so if you can see here also we are getting that two okay so in this way we can go ahead and find it out how many possible combinations are present for given substring in a string i hope you like this video thank you